Let's talk about if you are an artist, but you're suffering from a creative block right now, what you should do. It's a question of understanding. Do you even know what the block is blocking? All artists have this innate ability to tap into what we call source or source energy. We are pulled into bringing this unknown layer of the world to light. Whether you're an artist or not, there's something that connects all of us. I think I've been having such a creative block for me personally because I have been listening to all these other people in my life for, for many, many years. It goes on and off, it comes in waves. Sometimes I'm creative, sometimes I'm not. And everybody is just telling you how to live your life. And as an artist, I think you actually have to do the exact opposite. That is why so many artists live in this anti-mainstream counterculture lifestyle. We essentially need to tune out all the noise in order to get in touch with source or the universe or God or whatever you want to call it and then kind of bring that idea out into the rest of the world. It's really important because whether you like it or not, there's something that connects every single person every single being, every single plant and entity in the whole world. And I know that might sound like some hippie juju conversation, but it's true. And um, you can look at that through a religious lens, or you can look at that through a holistic or kind of like whatever the hippie people call themselves now lens or as an artist lens. We're essentially brainwashed to forget that we are all so very similar. Deep down, we have the same wants, the same needs, and we all have a story to tell. And we, we are all connected by storytelling in, in so many ways. What you wear tells a story. What you, your house, the way it looks, it tells a story. The way you decorate it, it tells a story. The way you speak, your tone of voice, what your interests are. You, everybody has this deep rooted story that we just have very, I don't know, a lot of trouble tapping into because we're so distracted. And it's even worse now. We're so distracted by our phones, by the media. I talk about this a lot, but I think we're losing touch with the importance of art. And when you lose touch with that, artists, especially like myself, I am conflicted with, do I wanna say what I really think? Do I even wanna go exploring the river that connects all of us? Um, do I want to bring that message to light? And I think when I have this kind of like artistic creative block, it's because I am just listening to everybody else but me. And really in the whole world, I just have myself, right? Nobody knows how to be an artist more than I do. Nobody knows what's best for me more than I do. And, and that goes for whether you're an artist or not. So I think when you have creative block, at least at least for me, I think it's like taking a step back from talking to everyone. And just, you know, if that means maybe maybe you need to like put a pause on talking to your friends and your family just to like recenter and realign, I think it's worth it because essentially like I notice if I'm too absorbed with the whole outer world when my like stress level is really high and my Vibration isn't high, but like like in a, in a bad way, if that makes sense. It's like, you know, chaotic energy. I call it like baby skunk energy. I don't know if you've ever seen a baby skunk, but they are wild and they make bad decisions and they'll like run towards you even if you're in a car. So anyways, it's giving baby skunk energy and you need to recenter. You need to calm down if you have a creative block and you need to tune out the noise. And there's probably nothing harder than tuning out the noise in this day and age. Um, we don't go outside. Every child from the time they're like six or younger is brought up with a cell phone, which whether you realize it or not, it's a mind control device. And it's creating a barrier to connecting to the source energy, the source messaging of life. And you're, you're so disconnected and we're all disconnected from each other. We're disconnected from our art. I think one thing that is really suffering from this creative block or whatever world we're living in now is in our architecture, right? To me, that's a form of art, but essentially this like minimalism, modern art, hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's like, if you look back many, many, you know, centuries ago or years ago, all the architecture is bringing your energy and 
elevating your spirit and now with the art that's being put out it's so reflective of like oppression in a way like and not in the way that i think most people think but it's it's sterile and it's not beautiful it's ugly and i think if you don't have art in your life you don't have music in your life you're losing touch with like what it means to be human in a way we are we are being forced to be robotic and i'm not saying like you can't enjoy your nine to five job or whatever it is that you do for your day-to-day work but you have to bring it back down to like a natural state like there is these moments where i go through my day-to-day life and i'm just not connected to anyone around me anymore i just have very different I see the world very different. I see the world very different when I'm in sales. I see the world very different when I'm like in my art studio or when I'm making videos. And there's just, it feels like there's no one that could ever understand me. And I think when you take a moment to tune out the noise, reconnect with the universe or again, source energy, you realize that of course you're connected and what the whole world wants you to think is that we're so divided and we're so far apart. And as artists, like we need to create in order to essentially bring people back together or at least highlight our experience in this world. So if you're an artist and you're going through a creative block, number one is to maybe detach yourself from everybody around you for for just a moment and you need to tune out the noise and find a way to reconnect with your center, with yourself. And I think what's so great about that in my particular case is I have all of these interests and the whole world is saying you have to pick one. And even if that's true and that is good advice, it's like, but I'm multidimensional. I I am an artist, I am a scientist, I like sales, I like business, I like making money, but I also like creating, I like taking pictures and I like making videos and I like helping people. I love to travel, like I just don't understand. It's very hard for me right now to understand why I can't do it all. And the whole world is telling me not only that I can't do it all, but probably like you can't do any of it. You know what I mean? And so I find uh, that that is prohibiting me from creating. So I'm just kind of going through this, what I call upgrading my avatar moment of just being like, you know what? I'm gonna take a moment for me. I'm gonna go back to doing what feels good and feels right for me. Because my process essentially as an artist, and maybe I have ADD like a thousand percent, is I want to, do what I want to do when I want to do it. And when I say I want to do what I want to do, I mean like all the different interests I have, all the different projects that I'm working on, I want to do them when I want to do them. And I'm tired of people saying like, well, you need to have discipline to do just this one thing for the rest of your life. But like, what if that, you know, what if I, what if I don't have the creative spark to paint today? But I, but I want to go make a sale and I want to go learn something new about sales. You're telling me that like I have to not like double down on that because because I've agreed to, to who? To, to just do art? And who else do I have to answer to from my, but myself, essentially? Um, and what really is conflicting is I think because I've tried so hard to learn this, learn this new skill, um, if you've been watching any of my content, I kind of just started in this sales space. It's something I really, really wanted to learn. It's a good skill to have no matter who you are, no matter what discipline. But sometimes I get this creative spark where it's like, I want to paint today and I'll stop myself from painting. I'll stop myself from going into the art studio because I'm like, well, you promised yourself you're going to spend a year learning sales. And it's like, well, is it so terrible to take a moment not working like 14 hours a day to go paint a picture, even if it means nothing, even if it makes you no money, even if the only thing it does is just like give you a little joy for the day. You're like, is that so bad? But I think because the messaging, at least that I'm receiving in my lovely algorithm or like the world at large is like, you need to pick something and you need to stick to it. Well, what if you're ADD as fuck? What if you, what if you have a lot of different interests? Like, am I just supposed to not follow them, you know? And so I think that's something I'm really struggling with and is essentially creating a creative block for me. Maybe it's partly a limiting belief of can I do it all, yes or no, or maybe it's partly 
Um, you know, is it worth my time? And it's like, what, uh, what else am I doing? Honestly, what else am I doing that's so great that I can't just do what I want to do? Is there anything better than that? Probably not. Probably not. Um, and it seems so simple, like something I should have probably realized, like, you know, I don't need to answer to anyone but me. But I, but I think when you're trying to progress, it does make sense to double down on what you're good at, double down on what the plan is, and, and just like execute, 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 execute. But like until you kind of know either what you want to do um, with all of your times the rest of your life, you know, maybe give yourself permission to just like have a little fun. Because I do think sales is fun. I think it's really fun making money and solving people's problems and learning about a business that, you know, I've spent many, many years contributing to, but this is like a slightly different side to it. And then being able to be compensated for that is super cool. But also like, you know, if I want to paint, go paint. If I want to go make a video, go make a video. This is essentially a video for myself, just giving me permission to be like, Tune into what you want to do and it's okay if it's not what everyone else thinks you should do. And also, I think we are just ignore our intuition so much and we're so very disconnected to the world and the universe and what our gut tell, tells us, which is like essentially been passed down through our DNA, this evolution of knowledge that is like in your gut. It's like as much as, you know, the the knowledge to make good decisions that's like pro, pre-programmed for before you're born is in your gut and not listening to that is um, probably unhealthy for you. It's definitely unhealthy for me because it creates a lot of stress. When I don't do what I want to do, I feel very high anxiety, I feel high levels of stress, and maybe that's where a lot of people's anxiety comes from, is a mix of not doing what you know is right for you, and then also looking at everybody else and thinking like, what might be right for them is like, has to be what's meant for you, and it's just not. And I think the people who are most successful in this world just have the balls to be like, I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna do what's right for me and you do what's right for you and the whole world can go around a lot easier. Like the whole world is up in arms and so angry with each other when it's like nobody's gonna be the same. And and you don't have to be an artist to see this, but nobody's gonna think the same. Nobody has the same values. However, in order to like clearly coexist with each other we have to find some common ground and i think art does do that for people where they bring us together whether it's like what you're wearing or what the the buildings that you're in or the paintings on the wall or just like the physical expression that you're kind of getting out of your body to say hey this is my viewpoint and this is how i see the world and maybe it might change even just one person i think that's enough so kind of like overcoming that block means giving yourself permission to like be okay with whatever your interests are so if you're an artist like a traditional like painter and you're having blockage there creating work maybe you want to try writing for a little bit and and just try like doing it in a different environment or a different type of medium or maybe you want to work with pastels or maybe you want to like act out a skit or something um and i think people are just so tight uptight like i've just gotten so uptight about like what i can and can't do that it's it's like not fun and i'm not saying the whole purpose of life is to have fun but obviously the journey to your goals and the journey to being successful you should probably enjoy it a little bit. You have to find love in the discovery. You have to find love in the grind. And when things are not like making sense, like maybe stop trying to force like a square, you know, block into like a circular hole. You know what I mean? Where it's like you're tr like, I've been trying to force doing one thing for years and it's just not working and I think I'm just come, like as of today, which is why I'm making this video, coming to terms with the fact that if something's not working, it's okay to pivot and take a different 
direction that you don't know what's going to happen or how it's going to turn out but you're following your gut and you're just like you know what this is of interest to me and I think that actually has paid off where I've done something new or I've changed my environment or I've just like kept trying to learn in a different way that I have progressed throughout my life and then when I haven't allowed myself to like take those chances and just go with like what seems interesting without a plan or without I mean like I have a kind of a plan but you know some steps along the way maybe you aren't sure what's going to happen or like why would you do that um they've actually worked out very very well so as long as I've been pushing my boundaries exploring different things and like trying to live life to the fullest those have been the most rewarding moments for me and stopping yourself and limiting yourself whether it's like these limiting beliefs or like physically stopping yourself from doing anything because you're afraid to move forward because you think it's not the right thing you're you're really harming yourself that's like for sure one of the worst things I've ever done I have a very hard time like in terms of progression for my life I have a very hard time sometimes making this decisions or moving forward because I think it just isn't in alignment. So I have like 10 decisions in front of me. One of them aligns, but the the rest of the nine is like what everybody else wants me to do or whatever everyone else's feedback is. And if I do not choose the one that is very, very clearly for me, right for me, I'm conflicted. I'm stressed. I have high anxiety. Like things just are a little bit chaotic in my life and it's like you just have to keep bringing it back to you bringing it back to yourself be the creative and be the you know pilot of your own plane to take you where you want to go and don't be and like maybe have the confidence that it's okay to not do it how everybody else does and it's okay to just follow your gut follow the road like if I was taking a road trip to California right from Virginia to California I don't really know what the road looks like I just know that if I follow this road I'm gonna end up in California so enjoying that journey and having you know some childlike wonder about your surroundings and like yeah maybe you take a detour and you get back on that road but at the end of the day you're always gonna end up in California like just be confident that you'll get there when you get there and if someone else says hey you need to go back to Florida to get to California just be like no man I I know where I'm going I know where I want to go even if I don't know what the road looks like I know where I'm going and I'm gonna trust my gut and my instinct and just do what I want to do and for me that means like I want to explore all the things I want to do. I want to paint. I want to do sales. I want to travel. Like I want all of these things. And I think I'm just giving myself permission to do it in a way that might not make sense for other people. So if you're going through creative blocks or writer a writer's block or just like maybe you're in a weird place in your life, please know that you're not alone. This happens probably to more people than they would like to admit Um, but you're on the right path there is no wrong path there's just moving forward